I want y'all to drop everything. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Throw them RIP cheese in the comment section. The dude that they brought out, this dude right here, his motive for even going out there at eight o'clock at night to do this to cheese was because of, he was hating on cheese this whole time. They said that he gathered up two of his homies, one to be the getaway driver and one to be the backup shooter. This is something that Gilly the Kid, he should be looking into this real deeply because Wallow said that if anybody did it, they had to be close to Cheese. This why I always tell y'all, stay away from people who want your money. Stay away from people who keep asking for money. This dude, he kept on asking Cheese to put him on, but Cheese haven't even got his foot in the game yet. Cheese haven't even made no money off rapping yet. I want y'all to know one thing. From what the reports are stating, they said that this man, he sat and lamped on him. He was waiting for Cheese to come out, and that's when he proceeded to follow him. He followed him for about 35 minutes. They said that Cheese was riding around smoking. I want y'all to really look at this, man, because you can't go outside thinking it's a game. You can't go outside thinking it's sweet, but in all actuality, we know for a fact that you you ain't got to be scared to walk out your door. If somebody hating on you or they got something against you, okay, face it, let them hate. Like at the end of the day, because people going to do things to try to throw you off. But in our actual reality, we know for a fact that Cheese, what happened to this man, the same thing. They said that the people in Philadelphia did this to him. They said these the people who basically let it transpire let it happen and i want to say if y'all from philadelphia throw them them throw them phillies in the comment section man because we know for a fact that gilly the kid he rocked with philly wallow he rocked with philly cheese he rocked with philly to a certain extent the people of who he grew up with they they can hate on him every now and then but you gotta understand they get back cool after they get into it with each other but for this dude to go out his way and to basically send this man up. I want y'all to realize, throw them RIP cheese in the comment section because a lot of people sit back and look at it. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. I knew they had something to do with cheese. I knew they had something to do with cheese getting sent up. I want y'all to really pay attention to what's going on. Knocked them off to where he couldn't even pull off. They saw who was in that car. They knew that cheese was in that car. A lot of people sit back and say Gilly and Wallow, they just enjoying themselves. Man, this man just got sent up and ain't nobody showing no sympathy, man. People real life need to pay attention to what's going on because it's only a matter of time before they sentence these dudes. And that's another dude gone to senseless violence. We know that this is a revolving door. We gotta open our eyes to the fact of what's really going on. People sit back and look at it and take things for granted, but you gotta really be mindful of the people you keep around you because it's a lot of people who wanna take your place and be in your spot. You can't let nobody take your position. You gotta stand on all 10 toes. They tried to get down on cheese and they said that it was a robbery that was in process right before this even happened to cheese. I want y'all to look at this man because it was a stream of events that happened leading up to Cheese getting sent up. I want y'all to throw them RIP Cheese in the comment section, y'all. Throw them RIP Cheese in the comment section. If you're from Philadelphia, let me know where you're from. You feel me? Let me know if you're from Philly. Let me know you if you're from Pittsburgh. Let me know where y'all from, man. Because a lot of people sit back and they looking at it like, Cheese should have instantly. He should have went out of town. He should have been gone, you feel me? Cheese should have went, you feel me, to they matches that they got. You know Gilly just bought all these cars. He should have instantly paid for top-notch security that was gonna be on the spot right there regardless if it was two o'clock in the morning or eight o'clock in the morning. I want y'all to really look at that because they looking at it like, Cheese, he went to the wrong neighborhood at the wrong time. And I always tell y'all, you can get caught up in the wrong place at the wrong time just by thinking it's sweet. They always said that, oh, they can go on their own block, but y'all see what's going on. Half of the guys can't even be on their own block because they already know this is sad, you feel me? This something that we know for a fact happened 
all the time, over and over again, repeatedly. This is a sad situation, man. And people don't really take things for granted until it's too late. We know why G Cheese, he didn't want them boys to take him out like that, but they followed him. They followed him, and this the crazy part about it. Man, they said that the dudes is his friends. I want y'all to look at this because this is why I always tell y'all, watch y'all surroundings and watch the people y'all keep around y'all. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, throw them RP cheese in the comment section. Gilly, he's sitting back looking at it like, while he study partying, him and Wallow going out, doing what they doing. This man just got laid to rest. Not even a week ago. I want y'all to really look at that because they said that Gilly, he showed his sympathy for his son. They said that everybody supported him, but where did Cheese get sent up at? He got sent up in his own city. When you get the bag, you're supposed to move out the hood. People sit there and say that you're supposed to get the money and come back and help this. You're supposed to do that, but it's ways that you can do it. People ain't paying attention to the fact that the shooters... They was cool with him, man. And I always tell y'all, a person could be cool with you once upon a time and then know all your whereabouts and know all your business and then still think in their mind, okay, this is how he moving, this is what he doing. This was sad, man. This is a sad situation. And YG Cheese, he did not deserve to get sent up at his untimely demise like that. A lot of people sit back and say it. His daddy should have had the security with him when they was riding around. The security should have been in the other car behind him so that once he did pull over, the security could have instantly start blowing at the car that pulled up and blocked You feel me? Block. Hey, we got breaking news for everybody. I want everybody to drop everything that they're doing. And I want y'all to real life hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. This video going to specifically be about YG Cheese. They found the shooters, and the most shocking part about it, the shooter's car was found on 4th Street, which is only a couple blocks up from where he was found at. I want y'all to really look at what's going on because they said the getaway drivers, they knew him. I knew it was related. A lot of people sit back and thought it was a game, but we, we gotta really pay attention to the key facts. Nobody knew where he was gonna be at or knew that he was gonna even be coming that way and park on that block. He was in the hood. Why would you wanna literally put yourself out there as a rapper when y'all got a hundred million dollars? You ain't got a rap, shorty. But at the end of the day, it was his dream. That was his dream. He wanted to be a rapper and he knew his father could promote him. Y'all see? I want y'all to know, man, this is a sad situation. They tweaked on him. They tweaked on him because it was multiple people who got hit up, and I like I really want to send my condolences out to the family, man. RP YG Cheese, man. Get well, Gilly the Kid, and get well Wallow. Because at the end of the day, y'all the main ones who real life can basically take care of the business and real life find justice for your son. Hey, I, I would like for you guys to watch this video right here so that you guys can get an insight on what exactly happened detail by detail. I want you guys to really tune in and hit this link right here in the, after this video. Watch this next video so you can get a full understanding of what happened to Cheese. The son of Philly rapper, he was in the shooting Thursday night. NBC 10 was among the first report. The shooting occurred at the 5, 5800 block of Manchester Street 
in Oak Lake, Olin neighborhood at 8.24 p.m. And Philadelphia police said, 25 year old man was shot once in the back and taken to the hospital by police. He was pronounced dead at 8.39 p.m. So he was pronounced dead almost 10 minutes later, y'all. I want y'all to look at that, it's sad, but I'm gonna play this video for y'all so y'all can get the full rundown of what's going on. We bringing straight facts on this channel. They said it was two other people who were shot too, so we, we, we just want to send our condolences and make sure they straight and make sure they good. Like at the end of the day, should no man lose their life like this, man. This black man lost his life through negligence, man, for nothing, for no reason, y'all. Why would he even try to be a rapper? This is the thing. He was in the bad neighborhood from the get-go. 